basically the boys love the sport and they love playing. And it's very difficult, I think, to manufacture a culture or it's very difficult to build a culture. The culture was here before we came here. All we're trying to do is just make it a bit better. It's not just about developing the top players. It's, it's really important to, to develop all the players at the school. Out in the training paddock, we train in large groups. The senior squad will, will have 50 boys out training, which we feel is very important for their development. It gets a real culture of competitiveness as well. We're just trying to help every boy become a better player. And I think if we do that, the winning and maybe a bit of success that comes. But it's not winning first, it's a culture of boys enjoying themselves, giving their best, that's what it's about. Merkison has a fine tradition for producing international players. I think there's over 60 altogether and uh, I think around about 10 during my era. But of course the reason for that is the school has a commitment to excellence in all areas. There's a very strong rugby culture at the school, but the key part of that culture is the developmental process which gives all the boys at the school, especially the talented and committed player, a real opportunity to fulfil their potential. Everybody involved with the school is incredibly proud of the history of rugby at the school. I've got a copy of the photograph of the very first 20 that was played in 1864-1865 in the match against Edinburgh Academy, which of course is the longest continuous running fixture in the world of rugby. At the moment we don't live in a bubble in Scotland or in Edinburgh, which you could easily do. We go and play down south, we play against the best English schools, and I think that's really important. But you've got to have that balance. This is, this is a school, it's not a professional rugby club, a rugby academy. It's a rounded boy you want to leave, a rounded young man wants to leave this school. You know, someday that everybody will be proud of, not just playing sport. Strength and conditioning is a really important part of our culture at Merkiston. And over the last couple of years, it's grown in numbers. When we're in the gym we do a lot of dynamic work, so a lot of plyometrics and a lot of conditioning work. I think it helps a lot in the field because it's really related to rugby and enables us to kind of be explosive and be powerful on the field. The boys follow a four-year progressive programme starting with basic body weight management right through to Olympic lifting and caters for boys aged 14 through to the first 15. The boys are screened in year one which allows us to tailor programmes to improve their individual needs. Our goal is to produce fast, powerful athletes who can play the game at real speed. This goes hand in hand with a rugby philosophy of playing a fast attacking game. As I come through the two years at Merkison, I've changed rapidly physically and also mentally and Merkison's definitely put me in the right path to achieving my goals of representing Bath first team and obviously England first team. The most impressive thing for me at Merkiston is, is when you look around the playing fields and you actually see the boys enjoying themselves. On a Saturday, it's good for the young generation to be out watching the first 15 and, and looking up to them as role models in the school. And I think we're very lucky to have good role models for the young boys to follow and support through, through their school journey.